Hi and welcome to today's lesson. I will be demonstrating how to create an emotional color wheel. I will list all of the tools that you need for this exercise in the description below. I will be using some gouache, a pencil, uh, a turner and various rulers to create a beautiful uh, diameter and a color wheel and uh, I will be using this instrument to just allocate specific zones for me to color in with my gouache paint afterwards. So what is an emotional color wheel? We use this exercise to help individuals to describe their emotions by using color identifying various emotions to various colors so this emotional color wheel will be different for every person that attempt this exercise because we all have our favorite colors our neutral colors and our least favorite colors this says a lot about a person as well and a lot of color psychology is a very interesting way of analyzing your feelings with that relates to a particular color so as I'm dispensing my gouache watercolor in my porcelain palette, I'm just preparing to have a variety of color available that can be placed around the color wheel. Now I am also going to try and use the color wheel in the traditional sense by um, showcasing how to create secondary colors from primary colors, but that is not absolutely essential. As with color therapy um, and with uh, art therapy, there is no right or wrong. This really is just an expressive exercise to allow individuals to just connect with their emotional states and intensities. That is the main focus of this exercise. Um, you will see later as I demonstrate the intensity of the color, dark versus light, and also represent the intensity of an emotion so you don't have to have all of the colors of the rainbow on your color wheel if you want to have it monochromatic that is absolutely fine as well or if you only want to use certain colors that is also perfectly fine but I do encourage you if you want to do this exercise to um, try and represent all the colors of the rainbow on your color wheel um, and as you begin to play with these colors that you really go in deep and feel what it is that you feel with every single color do you like the color how does the color make you feel what does the color represent for you um, is it a positive or a negative emotional vibration for you is it a neutral vibration for you so again there is absolutely no right and no wrong at this stage I'm just activating my paints with a bit of water so that it is easier for me to get it onto my practice page a bit later on so as I'm activating my paints I want you to start to think about what is your favorite colors and a good way to do that is just to you know see what is the favorite colors that you like to wear what is the favorite colors that you like to surround yourself with those are your favorite colors which colors do you avert uh, stay away from that you absolutely dislike that you will never wear so on a separate page we will have favorite colors neutral colors and least favorite colors or colors that you dislike so let's begin with your favorite colors I want you to just use any paint form whether it's acrylics or gouache or watercolor or even cokies or crayons it doesn't matter and just make a mark or a patch uh, a swatch if you like of all your favorite colors and try and add it in the the value scale that you also like some people like pastel colors or powdery tones lighter tones more than deeper tones so try and represent the colors that you like also in the tonal value that you like I like them both strong and 
light so here I'm diluting it with water so that we can have a lighter value of my favorite color as well as an intense value so some of my favorite colors are pinks and violets blues and greens in various forms particularly turquoise and uh, I will do a a color therapy psychology segment later um, to just augment this video that we can discuss and explore the different psychological values of color and the meanings behind it but it is something that you can google as well now I'm gonna move to the colors that I strongly dislike these are colors that make me feel uncomfortable or colors that I just definitely will never wear because it's just a tone that I don't like so one of these is very strong yellows mustard tones and also reds So it is interesting to analyze why it is that you just like a color because it does uh, show you um, aspects of your psychology and emotions that you might be neglecting so neutral tones is colors colors that you don't feel anything in particular about um, you don't have a positive or a negative reaction to it it's just neutral so here I'm doing an orange and I'm doing a brown and I'm also going to be doing black and as I was doing the black I remembered grey is one of my favorite colors now it's not officially a color white black and all the shades of grey is not really a color but um, it is technically a neutral isn't it but today you're working with our feelings towards these colors rather than whether the color is technically a neutral color or not so I had to add a particular shade of gray into my favorites and I had to mix it as well to just give it the nuance that I feel is the one that I like right so here is my favorite colors my neutral colors and my colors that I dislike so what I want you to do is to try and associate any color on your exercise here with a particular emotion like love or passion or joy feeling adventurous and so forth so you decide what that color represents for you as an emotion so if that's difficult you can begin with I feel that it did you can fill in the spot about this color so I feel safe I feel um, joyful I feel peaceful is a, a way to describe that and then I want you to continue to do that with all of the colors on your swatch Pay particular attention to the colors that you dislike and try to see what negative emotions you're feeling with this color or that you want to ascribe to this color like I feel scared or I feel depressed or I feel angry this is a good way to do that right once you've explored that and you've put pen to paper I want you to go to your color wheel so if you've drawn up your color wheel before you can allocate particular segments in your color wheel to particular colors I'm starting with the primaries of yellow red and blue and you start with the most intense version of your color right at the core right at the center and at this stage I am doing a bright cadmium yellow in this top section I'm just going to zoom in for you so that you can see better next I'm going to be doing a red it's also a primary color and I'm trying to 
represented in this little pie shape here at its most saturated. And then lastly, I'm going to be doing blue in its most saturated form. So these are the three primary colors. Out of your primary colors, you combine them to create secondary colors. That's just an interesting fact. So for example, yellow and blue will create green. So I'm placing my pure green here in its most saturated form. Blue and red combined together creates violet. So I'm placing my violet in this section of my color wheel. And then lastly, yellow and red combined gives you orange. I notice that my color wheel isn't perfectly symmetrical and I've got more space on one side than on the other. Math is definitely not my strong point, but that's not essential because we are just going to play in the color wheel. It's not about how perfect it is. So now we're going to create tertiary colors. So if you add yellow to green, you get a yellow green. And if you add blue to green, you get a blue green. If you add blue to violet, you get a blue-violet. That's usually the darkest color on the color spectrum. If you add red to violet, you get a red-violet. If you add red to orange, you get a red orange. I'm having to create a little slither of that color in there. And then if you add yellow to orange, you get a yellow orange. And there we have a complete color wheel in its most intense form. So now what I want you to do is I want you to add white or water and create um, a lighter spectrum. So as you move to the outside of your circle with each segment, I want you to create a lighter version of the color. I've already done that for you here. And the next part of this exercise is to now superimpose your emotions that you allocated on your swatches onto your color wheel and once you've allocated all your different emotions to the different colors I want you to then think about intensity of emotions for example annoyed becomes angry becomes enraged or anxious becomes scared becomes petrified and so forth so from the lightest aspect of an emotion to its most intense part and then I want you to place the different intensities of these emotions on your color wheel so if you're allocated a color for example as joy think about the different levels of joy you might have ecstasy right at the core and a light feeling of happiness on the outside of the yellow and so on and so forth and this color wheel then becomes your emotional color wheel that you can use in other art therapy sessions in the future and this is the completed section thank you for watching